Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this tutorial, we will be using vectors from Adobe Illustrator to create a animated city just like this. Okay, so this is a uh, part two. Uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, we uh, learned how to create a city uh, just like this in Adobe Illustrator. Um, and if you haven't watched it, uh, please click the link in the description or on the screen now if I remember to put it in. Um, and yes, you will need to watch that video in order to do this tutorial um, if you want to start from scratch. Now you can download this project file in the description so you can just do the After Effects portion, but I believe it's vital to learn how to create vectors in Illustrator, especially if you do motion graphics uh, similar to this. Designing graphics in Illustrator is a lot more intuitive and you can get things done just a lot faster. So let's get started. I'm going to import our uh, AI file and it'll come up and it'll say import kind composition. Sometimes footage will be checked off. Make sure you click composition and layer size is good and click OK. And then it automatically creates a composition. And here are all of our uh, files within this uh, AI file. So. Uh, one thing you need to do in Illustrator, if you're creating your own uh, graphic, you need to uh, put all the elements into their own layers. Uh, so you can have them separated and you can animate those uh, objects separately. So, you know, each of these buildings are in its own layer. So I can hide, you know, that building right there because it's on its own layer. And in After Effects, uh, that building has its own layer. So now this is completely isolated and I have a lot of control over what I want to do here. All right, so now that we have everything in here, we can you know, begin to animate this thing. And honestly, the animation is really fast. So uh, let's go to, may to maybe like one second. And let's you know, start with like the clouds or something like that. Um, I'll hit P on our keyboard, select the cloud layers. I'll click the stopwatch for position. And you know, that's fine, I'll leave that right there. Um, and let's see, let's go to like eight seconds. I don't know, let's go to the end of the composition. I, I don't have a preference. And then let's go ahead and uh, move the X position on these cloud layers and just you know create some animation. So there's that. And then let's select all three of these layers again. Hit S on our keyboard, hit the scale, uh, move that forward in time, and then hit zero on our keyboard. And then let's select the last three keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to create an easy as keyframe. And then let's create some variations by just moving around the keyframes. So now the clouds come on just like this. Let's actually maybe, yeah, let's see. Let's put this one out here. So these come on and another cloud comes on. Um, so, you know, just trying to create some variation. Okay, so then let's go to like the sun layer. Uh, let's, you know, go to like two seconds, hit P on our keyboard, hit the stopwatch for position, move that forward in time. You know, and we'll move the sun off the frame here and hit easy as for the last keyframe. And then one thing I want to do for the sun, just for, you know, some stylistic uh, effect, I'll go to effects, color correction, brightness and contrast. And then alt click the brightness stopwatch. And then I'm going to type in wiggle, uh, open parenthesis, 2 comma 15. Actually, I'll do 30. And close parenthesis. And we just typed in an expression. So now the sun is going to flicker a little bit. And that's just a personal taste. Uh, that's completely up to you. All right, so now we have the sun and the clouds animating. Let's go to the hot air balloon. And let's see, let's just, hmm. Let's just go to one second again. Hit P on our keyframe for position. Um, and then uh, let's move forward to 10 seconds. And, you know, we'll move this thing up like that. And then, you know, hit S on our keyboard. Uh, hit the stopwatch for scale. And let's just have this thing, you know, pop in just like that. You know, and hit F9. All right, so let's animate the buildings. Let's select all the building layers, hit P on our keyboard, uh, click the stopwatch for position, and let's move these keyframes forward. And let's just uh, go to the Y position and, you know, scale these buildings down just like that. And once again, we'll select the end of the keyframes and hit F9 on our keyboard. And then let's create some variation by moving the uh, keyframes around. And let's move these over too. I don't think I want it one second. All right, so now the buildings are coming on. 
All right, and before I forget, um, let's turn on motion blur for every layer. And uh, make sure to uh, click the motion blur button right at the top here. Um, and I just want to do that so I wouldn't forget to do that. All right. All right, and let's move these trees here. Since I have that separated, we'll go to tree here. Uh, hit the stopwatch for keyframes. And let's move that forward. And we'll just drag that down below the road layer. So I want to animate these trees individually, but the problem is these trees are in its own layer. So we got to separate these trees. And the best way to do that is to go back into Illustrator and go to that layer, which is the front trees layer right here, and to basically just hide or delete all the tree layers. So I'm uh, just going through here and see. All right, now we're left with one tree and I will save this file. And what's really cool about this workflow is that it will update automatically in After Effects. And there we are. We are left with one tree. So what I'll do is I'll just move the tree over. And there we have our tree. And we'll start with one second. And let's uh, go to scale. Stop, watch that. And actually, let's go to the pan behind tool at the top here. And this little anchor point, let's move it down to the uh, stem of the tree. So let's go back to scale. Let's move this keyframe over just by a few frames. And let's hit zero on our keyboard. And now we have a tree that pops right in. And let's make this last keyframe as easy as keyframe. And then all we have to do now is duplicate this layer, hit P on our keyboard, and we can move this uh, little tree over. And then let's go ahead and offset this by just a little bit, duplicate it again, offset that, and hit P on our keyboard. Let's bring this guy over, and by maybe a little bit more. And then let's go ahead and select all the trees that we have, duplicate them, move them up to the layers here, hit U on our keyboard, see the keyframes, uh, and also hit U on that one, and go to position, and let's continue to move these guys over. And then once again, we could do the same thing once more, select all the trees, duplicate them, move the trees up, and then let's just continue to move everyone over. And I'm gonna have to make a few tweaks. All right, and no big deal, there we go. And we have a, probably a couple of trees that animate off frame, but uh, I'm all right with that, let me just delete them. So we created two too many. And since this isn't centered, we'll just select all the tree layers, hit P on our keyboard, and we'll just move these guys over. So that looks uh, pretty close. All right, so now we have all the trees coming on, and that's pretty cool. Um, it isn't exactly perfect, but for the tutorial, I'm not so concerned about perfection on that. All right, so now we have a few more layers to animate. So one, that background city. So uh, the first thing that should come on is really the road. So we'll hit P. Uh, bring it in position, move this guy forward a few frames, bring it down, you know, hit F9 on our, key, on our keyboard. And then let's go to the hills layer, which is, I have it labeled as environment. And once the road comes on, uh, we will animate our hills. So we'll hit position, uh, bring that forward just by a few frames, and then we'll drag this guy down. And then once the hills are done, are on, we'll go to the background buildings, uh, hit position, bring that forward, a few frames and then bring them down like this and then you know make these three keyframes easy as and then I can just go ahead and shorten this up to cut off the extra see like we don't want to see that so we'll just go ahead and cut the beginning off here and then the same thing with the buildings we don't need them we see them a little bit ahead of time so we'll just cut them like that and then boom they all can stay hidden. And then all we have left now are the cars. And that's pretty easy. And let's, uh, let's see. Let's bring hit position for both the car layers. Hit the keyframe. And then, let's see. Let's move this forward to maybe like two frames. I don't know. Let's start it right here. All right. And that's where they will come on. And then let's go to like one second. You know, how this car like shoot right in just like that. Same thing with this car. And then we'll go to the end here, and we'll just animate these things. So, like, he can go down the road, 
And, you know, he can do the same exact thing. So now... So we've animated our entire little city or town here, and if this is all you want to do, I give you permission to leave this video. Um, however, if you want to create a little bit of a style, um, this is the part we will be creating now. So it kind of we kind of create like this little circle orb look to it, and it's really easy to do that. So I'm going to make do that uh, real fast, and all we have to do is just select all these layers, uh, pre-compose. And we'll call this main. Or actually, you know what? We'll call this uh, city. And I'll just rename this comp to main. And then all we have to do now is just scale this down and create a new layer. And we can select this blue here and put that underneath. And we'll call it background. All right. And now all we have to do is create a new solid and make it 1080 by uh, 1080. And we'll call it circle. And let's actually change the color it to, color of the circle to uh, the green here. And we will go to the ellipse tool, double click it to make a circle mask. And let's actually scale down the city, you know, even more. So like that maybe. So now we'll go to the city layer and go to track mat and click on alpha mat circle. And if you don't see those options, you can just go to toggle switches modes. And you'll see them. All right. And now all we do now is duplicate this circle layer, put it underneath the city layer, turn it back on. And then we have the continuation of the uh, grass here. And then we'll go to the rectangle tool and we'll cut the green off over here and click subtract under mask two. And now we have a circle. So what we do now is uh, make a new null object by going up to layer new null object and we will select all three of these layers parent it to the null object um, and put s on our keyboard they bring up the scale and let's you know really move in here cool and let's start this you know scale out at like maybe one second once we have like you know an actual screen here and then we'll move to the end of the frame here and we can scale out so now we have this animation and maybe we'll scale even more and then we're not done yet. Let's make sure we go to uh, toggle switches here and turn on the motion blur uh, for the city in these layers just to be safe. Okay. So now we have this entire city. So now you can do a lot of different things with this um, and this is a really stylized edit and you know of course we've extended the grass out here but anyway uh i want to say thank you guys for watching if you have any questions please drop a comment down below um and if you have any requests for tutorials please let me know i'm always excited uh for new ideas and um if you haven't already uh please consider subscribing and if this video has helped you please drop a like it helps me out tremendously um and please check out uh my social media links in the description below and guys hopefully i will see you soon